unfortunate. No, it is lost to us now. There is no point in returning, Uther. Your former comrades are impressive. They will be difficult to convince. No, Uther. I will fulfill my promise to you. All is not lost yet. Come. We must prepare for battle. Maker, you arrived. Things are getting out of hand. The Darkspawn are everywhere. You can see them from the city walls. But the commander will spare no soldiers for our protection. Great times, Commander. The common folk are getting desperate. Maybe you can say a few words. Calm them down. Make them see reason. Barrel, you don't coddle a revolt. You put it down. Just give me the order. We will not be... Let the commander speak. We must take the keep, to be safe. Quiet! How dare you! The commander speaks sense. I'm going home. Wait! Truly well done. That was, well, inspirational. I don't know how you did that. Men? Stand down. I'll be in the keep. Ugh, Ogryn, I could light your breath on fire. That's not the only thing you could light on fire, saucy lady. <laughs> ever stop drinking? Oh, don't you worry about that. It enhances the Ogryn. I should hate her, but I don't. I can respect a woman who fights for freedom and justice. I can look past petty hatred when I have reason to. She freed the elven slaves. Funny, isn't it? Andraste fought a tyrannical empire only to have her followers become one themselves. People with power never fail to abuse it, even those with good intentions. No! I seek justice for my people, and... that is all. We would not be like... I, I wish to end this conversation. Let us be on our way. Any luck finding the granite? Splendid. But I can't risk my men to darkspawn attacks. You'll have to send soldiers to secure the site. You can't neglect your stronghold. If the vigil falls, where would that leave your lands? Merchants and farmers aren't much against an army of darkspawn. Thank you, Commander. The vigil will not fall, I swear it. Yes, Commander? Let me see, let me see! <gasps> oh, amazing! This might be Heartwood. If I were allowed to experiment with this, I might be able to make a bow. Or a shield, yes. I can't do that right now, you understand. Here's a list of materials I need. They may be a trifle hard to come by, but you must get them! Yes, Commander?
you're back. You need anything? Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. Wade, the commander found a silverite deposit. Amaranthine abounds with mineral wealth. Master Wade has more than he needs to equip all of your men suitably. Thank you so much for finding all this dreary metal. Haran, you must be happy. Ecstatic. Now, now, no more time to waste. deal would have fallen through otherwise. The lads are hard at work. You'll have your explosives. <laughs> the lads are hard at work. You'll have your explosives. I owe you an apology. Well, one in particular, anyhow. When I returned from the free marches, I was certain my family was destroyed for being on the wrong side of the war. But my father did it to himself. No conspiracies, just one stupid, selfish man. I should have known better. He did. Once. That doesn't excuse his actions. I was an idiot, and like a child I blamed you and the Wardens. And here you've even proven to be a friend of sorts. Or am I reading that wrong, too? Good. You know, when you conscripted me, I would not have thought I'd end up liking it. Anyway, let's be on our way. I don't want to take up more of your time. I do not know where you found them. The Canari seems especially... Dubious. But the vigil's market is busy once again. This will certainly aid in our upcoming efforts. With the surplus in the treasury, I took the liberty of getting you this. Well done, Commander. Commander. I'll make the preparations. From this moment forth, Velana, you are a Grey Warden. Then let it be. She yet draws breath, Commander. She will recover. Exactly as Varlin described, but shinier. May I keep it? I know I shouldn't. We're not supposed to have belongings in the Legion. As you say, Commander. Thank you.
I am touched. Thank you. Oh, I am touched. Thank you. Thank you. This is a lovely gift. Thank you. This is a lovely gift. This book is empty. Why have you given me this useless object? Mm, I'm sure I'll find some use for this. The leather binding is quite adequate. Thank you. I didn't think I'd ever see Misha again. After all, she's exiled and I'm in the Legion. Maybe the ancestors thought it would be funny to see me get yelled at on the street. No, she wasn't. It's all true. Misha caught me stealing a leg of Nug once, and instead of telling the shopkeeper, she paid for it. She said the castless turned to crime because we have no options. If she could help one castless girl, but I proved that I'm scum. Just as they always said. The Legion changes people. Some change for the better, others for the worse. But all of us change. I know now, having lost many friends, that friendship isn't something to be squandered. Perhaps I could make amends. Misha said something about working for a tanner. I could visit, just to talk. Thank you. Well... I should rest. Busy days ahead of us. Ah, there you are. I see you are back amongst the Grey Wardens. Leadership looks good on you, I think. Then you are lucky. I came to pay my respects to the new Commander of the Grey before I leave Ferelden. Trust everything is going well. And you. I wish I could join you here, but that is not to be. I have been commanded to join the Wardens in Mont Simar. Apparently I'm not trusted to remain in Ferelden. I'll interfere, I'm told. Or perhaps they're right. Still, to send me to Orlay. I thought Darkspawn blood would be the last poison I'd have to swallow. We shall see if the Orlesians agree once I'm there. My other reason for coming here was to bring equipment that remained in the cache at Denerim. There's also this. It belonged to Ferelden's Commander of the Grey before Duncan, and now it's yours. Use it well. Uh, now it is time for me to go. The Orlesian Wardens await my presence. Daggers and all. It was good to see you again. With you here, I know the Wardens will have matters well in hand.
about it, eh? Huh? <laughs> I was thinking about my plan for a grand fleet of Mabari chariots. Talk to your dog about it once. Didn't seem impressed. Thing is, the Grey Wardens could use a snazzier image. Everyone thinks we're a grim stick in the muds. Oh, and the ladies love them chariots. Oh, yes. <laughs> Need something pummeled? Just say the word. Hey, you. Is you there? You! <laughs> oh, you're a tricky one. But you're not getting into my head. Oh, no. You with your murmuring and your buzzing. But I know your plan. But it won't work. I'm on to you. I'm just fine. Watching you... Got eyes in the back of my... Yeah, back of my... Oh. Whoa. Oh. Ah, saw it! Nothing. Stub my toe. Just one of those days. Actually, it's been one of those weeks. Ah. This isn't gonna make you think any less of me, is it? Ugh. Nah, who cares? I've just been thinking about Felsi and the Nugget. Didn't do right by them, did I? That's what I like about you. You're honest. Like a sock to the gut. I think Felsi knew. Even if she never acknowledged it to herself. She knew I could never settle down again. I did once, and... well... You know. Yeah, right. No point in beating myself over what I should have done for her. But the Nugget... Uh, that's got me all torn up inside, Commander. Little one won't understand. Maybe I could visit once in a while, write some letters. That's the least I could do, as a father. And hey, <laughs> the little one will grow up thinking Daddy's a great hero. Oh, you. Get going before I get misty-eyed. Go on. You're the first elf I've ever known. Do you feel honored? Why would I feel honored? The lads are hard at Your work. actions will influence my opinions explosive. of your race. Forever. Oh. As you say. Thank you. I needed more anger.
You're back. Have you any news? Really? Oh, oh, that's wonderful news. I hope the culprits have been brought to justice. I promised a donation, didn't I? Here, take this. With the Merchants Guild's compliments. Well, I, um, oh, I suppose... We could spare a little more. It was a pleasure to meet you, Warden Commander. So good to see you again. It seems I owe you a reward, yes? Yes, of course. Really, really grumpy. You noticed. I'm good at reading people. I shall do it. This is a beautiful tree. I did not expect to find one strong and thriving in a Shetland town. Nature does indeed. You may not recognize, but this is a Dal Amithal, the tree of Mithal. Our keeper's staves are cut from its like. Our keeper, Ilshe, had a staff cut for me, for when I would take on her role. Clearly not. And besides, why do you care? <sighs> Enough of this. I wish to move on. As there is but one... Very well. ...world, one life. As you say. I saw the revered mother at the apothecary trying to get some I shall food do. for an... What's she been up to? Dirk's been in a fight with his girl. Bran, I don't know this person. Is there something you want? My companion is not comfortable around strangers. I see. This... This must be about Keenan then. I... Um... Sweetheart. Could you give us a moment alone? Is... is Keenan dead? His wedding ring. Thank you for bringing this back to me. Keenan always said he joined the Wardens to give me a better life. Was it really better for me to be alone in a strange country, wondering if we'd ever have a family? Keenan made the sacrifice willingly. He never asked me if I felt the same. Love can only take you so far. I'll marry you when you figure out how to make whiskey come out of your tits.